Joe, let's begin with you, sir, and, and talk about the mood music in the uh, political realm yeah. in Europe Hi, that managed to get this deal done, Joe. A, a mood, politically speaking, that maybe wouldn't have allowed this deal to happen a couple of years ago. How positive is that for Europe? Well, first of all, um, obviously we are excited about the deal. Uh, this is uh, what we believe is the best for, for our companies, for our customers, uh, shareholders and employees likewise. Um, and that's why we are in a good mood today. Uh, and we did it because, and we agreed to it because we thought that's the best industrial logic in the sector. It was not so much about, you know, the political sort of spring of a new European spirit, but we happily support that by putting, you know, words or actions to where the mouth has been. Henri, you have to make um, commitments to the French government preserving Alston jobs and sites in France. What other commitments have you made to them around this particular tie-up? Yeah, absolutely. I think the first thing that we need to say is that this deal is an offensive deal uh, aiming at creating values for our stakeholders, including, of course, for employees. So if we took some commitments, it's because we know that this kind of period can be a, a quite a, a period of anxiety for some of our employees. So I think it was worth taking some employment in terms of job maintenance, both, by the way, in France and in Germany. So there is no difference between the commitment taken in France and in Germany, and about the fact that we will not close any site in, in the next four years. But again, Beyond the commitment, I think what is important is to see that this transaction per se will reinforce both, both companies, will reinforce both sites and setups, and therefore will provide more opportunities rather than less opportunities.